بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله الله سبحانه وتعالى in his mercy with his favor he is الرحمن الرحيم الله سبحانه وتعالى is the most beneficent the most merciful and هذه عقيدة that is عقيدة that's creed knowing and understanding and believing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator of the heavens and earth. And as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have to affirm that. That's a part of your tawheed. That's a part of your iman. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the only one worthy of worship. He's the creator and sustainer. And that he, subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the most beneficent and the most merciful. And that's why when we read, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillah, Hirabil Alameen, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Maliki yawm din the owner, the sovereign Lord, the owner of the Day of Judgment, or the Master of the Day of Judgment. Maliki Yawm al-Din, Iyyaka na'budu wa Iyyaka nasta'een. It's you alone whom we worship, and you alone whom we praise. Ahabatif Allah, along with the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to ponder and reflect upon that, that mercy that with all the sins, with all the issues of disobedience, with all the things that we do and the mistakes and sins that we make, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His mercy still is supreme. And It came in a hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioning the fact that we all sin and that all of us are in need of repentance and the favors and the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He loves he loves the fact that we repent to Him. And He wants that from us. That we're constantly repenting and, and, and seeking istighfar from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and asking for His mercy and His favor. Why? Because that is ta'zim. That's a type of act, uh, understanding that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is supreme and the exalted. And it is worship. And that's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created us for, and that's what He loves. He loves that we worship Him and Him alone. So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Kullu ibn Adam khatta, wa khayr al-khattayin tawabun. All the children of Adam make mistakes or sins. And the best of those who sin are those who repent. So just the fact that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves that we worship Him and that repentance is a type of worship, that means you're actualizing that tawheed that you're supposed to actualize, that you, the reason you were created. Kulu ibn Adam khatta, that lets us know all of us we make mistakes, all of us we sin, all of us are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's favor and His mercy and His, 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 his rahmah. And all of those who commit those sins and commit those mistakes, then 
if they are doing the kethrata, the immense amount of istighfar, seeking forgiveness and repentance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then they're doing what they were created to do. And they're fulfilling the maqsad, the intent. And that is to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, seeking His grace, His mercy and favor. And it also came in a hadith of the Prophet sallallahu which is known as the Hadith al-Qudsi, one of those divine hadith or sacred hadith, that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu said, and it was a hadith narrated by Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, لَمَا قَدَلَاهُ khalq." كَتَّبَ فِي كِتَابِهِ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ فَهُوَ مَوْضُوعٌ عِنْدَهُ إِنَّ رَحْمَتِي تَغْلِبُ غَدِّبِي The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, When Allah created the creation, لَمَا قَدَلَاهُ خَلْقٌ كَتَّبَ فِي كِتَابِهِ عَلَى نَفْسِهِ He wrote in a book which is with him, Verily, my mercy supersedes my wrath. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala lets us know that His mercy supersedes His wrath. And we need that. That's glad tidings for us as believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That Allah is more merciful than He is uh, in His punishment. And He subhanahu wa ta'ala said it. In the rahmati taghlibu be verily my mercy supersedes my my wrath, you know, my anger. So with that being the case, you as the created being need to strive your best to have to be merciful. To have more mercy than you have as far as punishment and and and, and rebuking others but rather be more merciful in your life as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is and desires from us. In the rahmati ghaddibu in the rahmati taghlibu ghaddibi Verily my mercy supersedes my wrath. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil, protect us from kulli suwa makru. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.